To get started, place the sizing template on the paper of your choice with the wide side on your left and the bottom cuff nearest you. Tear away the excess paper by pulling it against the edge of the template towards the center at a slight angle. First you rip it, then you flip it. Flip the paper and template over. If you started with the wide side on your left, it should now be on your right side as you replace the sizing template to the top of the paper. The bottom cuff should still be closest to you. Next, place the centerpiece template inside the window of the sizing template. Remove the sizing template and fold around the centerpiece template. Fold the top first. then the bottom, then keeping those two folded, fold over the wide side then the under flap, or gusset as it is officially known. Next, place the face template into the crease of the under flap, then fold the paper over. Make sure to place the face template on top of the folded over bottom and top cuffs. This helps the directions of the folds. Slide the face template to the other crease and fold over the other side. As you fold the paper over, you can feel the template through the paper, so pull it snugly against the edge. Release all folds. Before we glue our bag together, let's reinforce the area where the bag handles will be. Simply apply some glue to the cardstock and position it along the top crease between the folds. Most of our kits come with a small supply of cardstock to get you started, but fear not, we'll show you how to precisely cut more later. Let's take a closer look. The cardstock goes here and here. Apply some glue across the top edge and fold the top cuff over. Then apply some glue to the under flap, keeping it folded over. Make sure to get glue on the outside edge, then bring the two ends together. This edge will be visible, so bring the edges together carefully. If you go over the creases at this point, it will make things easier when we get to folding the bottom. Next, insert the forming box. The forming boxes are designed to help you hold the bag when folding the bottom, not to fold around tightly. The key to folding the bottom is to follow the creases. Let's take a closer look. The goal is to fold the bottom so that this crease matches this crease and you have a perfect 90 degree angle. Next, apply glue to the bottom. On the second flap only, apply glue all the way across the top in the center area. Then, remove the forming box. Next, reinforce the bottom of the bag with cardstock, adding a generous amount of glue to hold it in place. If you want bag handles, cut a few lengths of string using the guidelines on the sizing template for consistency. Next, punch two holes using a hole punch, then insert the string handles. It's fun and easy to make your own custom gift bags. Just rip it, flip it, fold it, and fill it.